I played Minecraft for 24 hours straight and it was really, really hard. So being the idiot that I am, I'm, I'm gonna do it again, but this time for Skyblock. Also, do you like my hoodie? It's a special limited edition one for 4 mil, available on sp737.store. I don't know why I put myself through this again. Red Butler McDonald's got me through it, and I played it on my server, penguin.gg. I'm online right now, it's a brand new season with new stuff, and you can visit me on my island with slash warp sp. Here we go again, 24 hours of Skyblock. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I'm gonna start by mining a tree, as you always should, and then then mine up three cobblestone. Then we can go ahead and make myself a stone pickaxe. I've got some iron, which is good. If I can grab a couple more cobblestone, I can smelt it. And then I'll put that in. We've got a sapling. Fantastic. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll pick up all this as well. Let's mine this up because it's all in places that I don't want it to be at the moment. Dirt is precious in this, as you can imagine. I'll just build it out like it's a pathway. Then we can start getting the dirt down now. We've got so much dirt here, by the way. Here we go. You ready for the speed, ladies and gentlemen? Like that. Like that. Like that. All before it flowed off the edge. Just, no, not quite. No. <laughs> Only SP can make mining cobblestone interesting, right? I don't know if I'm successfully doing that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe not. We can do IS upgrades. We can upgrade the mine. So now the mining is going to be getting me better stuff. I need to make a better cobblestone generator. I'll mine up everything here. All bits of cobblestone, slabs, whatever I've placed down. Then we need, the water's going to have to flow lower so that it doesn't go to the lava. If I grab lava and chuck it there. Fantastic. So this is a faster cobblestone generator. We need to get to 5,000. We've got a diamond. Nice. Yeah, 5,000 sky coins, and I can upgrade it again. It'll go even faster. I'm going to buy a potato. How much is a potato? 10,000! Oh my goodness, that is not, not cheap at all. Oh, well. Grow a little potato, please. Sugarcane's not exactly growing either, is it? Another diamond. Can I make a diamond pickaxe? Oh, I can. Getting that servant has to be the priority at the moment. I don't know how much you get from composting leaves. We're about to find out. I think building a bigger tree farm might be a, a good idea. I think we might get a bone meal out of this. Come on. Yeah, we did. Ta-da! It's grown a little bit more. I need a bigger tree farm. The tree farm is going to be what gets me loads of leaves. Leaves are going to get me bone meal. Grab my three saplings. So I've got five on the go now, which is good. We need food. Oh, we're hungry. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at this. It's grown. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the missions. I must be close now. Yeah, we just need one more coal ore and ten more iron ore. And then we get a speciality pickaxe. So there we go. We got that. We got 10,000 as well for that. Oh, that's awesome. Now we go slash servants. Servants there. There you are. Get it. I just, I'm so hungry. You take your time, don't you? For raw beef. Don't mind if I do. My first piece of food. There we go. Hunger is no longer going to be an issue. I've got the specialized pickaxe now as well. Island missions. Oh, I forgot about these. Done that one. We can claim the raw. We get an ore hopper and a thousand sky coins. Nice. Another thousand sky coins. Okay. Thank you. Oh, the sugar canes. The sugar canes flowing now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my back is starting to get a little bit sore. I've only been doing this for like an hour, which is slightly worrying. But guys, I've got something cool to show you. I've invested. I've invested in... Ta-da! Yes, I've invested in a moving desk. So now I can stand up like this. Look at this! Guys, I've, I am taking this 24 hours challenge seriously. I can switch between standing and sitting down. I feel good. I can stretch my legs. I can still play. <laughs> this is excellent, eh, ladies and gentlemen. I might even buy a netherite and go and make it a netherite pickaxe. That could be a cool thing to do, couldn't it? What do you think of the logo in the background, by the way? You can see the, the office properly here. <laughs> we buy one of them. I do think a netherite pickaxe is slightly faster at mining. Get it upgraded. Yeah, nice. Spin. French fries. 1.2 times sky coins booster. Nice. Oh, we got six hours of it. So for the next six hours, I'm getting 1.2 times the sky coin. Well, I'll be playing for the next six hours, so that is great. Five more potatoes. Fantastic. Okay, that's excellent. Oh, and it's grown. Look at that. It's a massive tree. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. It's very strange to play Minecraft stood up, by the way. Like, I've never done it before, and I feel... I feel like it's playing, and I'm, and I'm at a different height from the screen because I'm normally at this height. So I feel I feel completely different. It's really weird. Do I make a second one of these? I feel like farming sugarcane's got to be a, a, a handy thing to do. Where is my other sugarcane? Put it in there. Wow. I was worried for a second there, ladies and gentlemen, that I'd done something stupid. Mining level 250. Fantastic. But yeah, this is the time to have your water. We've got 10,000 sky coins. I can upgrade the generator. Sky coins are flowing, which is nice. The farm is doing well. There's lo I mean, there's loads of trees. And we've got emerald ore now as well. That wasn't there before. Hour and a half in. Things are looking good, guys, honestly. The island's, the island's working out well. The melon has grown. That's great. I think bone meal is one of the biggest things holding me back now. So we're going to get a lot of bone meal from this. That's the plan. I wonder if I can afford sand, because I kind of want to start growing cactus as well. 800. Ah, oh, it's not that bad, actually. I'm running out of space. I need, I need more dirt. I need more dirt. I'm just going to buy as much as I can. I think I'm happy to sit down again. I think I've been stood for long enough. Down it comes. This is brilliant. Look at it. Look at it go. You guys are moving down. I'm staying up here. This is fantastic. Nearly 20 stacks of cobble. That's good. Almost halfway to all the cobble I need for that mission. I think I've been gate crashed. So someone has arrived. I ballistic squid. Well, <laughs> This 24 hours, maybe not too long if people come and join me and see. Maybe I could get loads of cameo appearances over the next 24 hours. That could be fun. He's causing mayhem. 
What's he doing? Why is he just placing saplings underneath like? What? What? What's your game? So Squid came. He set me three challenges. And then he, he, he left. Anyway, right now, I'm focused on farming and building things up. You know, getting those levels up. But take my hoe and till along here. Then I place down lots and lots and lots of pumpkin seeds. I still have 64, so I don't even have enough dirt for this. And the pumpkins are growing. Oh, this is fantastic. Because look, you don't have to replant. I've said this a thousand times. You don't have to replant them. But I think it's a fantastic little farm. Basically, the only thing holding me back is the dirt now. The seeds are, are sorted. I'm going to make myself a nice... Well, not like that. But yeah, a nice little secondary chest. And that's just going to have the seeds in. And I think it would be a good one to have sugarcane in as well. 21,000 from selling all that. That's fantastic because it means that I can buy more dirt. You wouldn't think that buying dirt was such an amazing thing, would you? And sky coins. Okay, I've got 14,000. I didn't even notice. Let's go ahead and upgrade them. I can't afford the efficiency at the moment, but I can upgrade the mob. Another stack of dirt purchased and also placed down. Oh, I've done it. I smelted every single ore that I need to, which means the cobblestone is now the only thing holding me back. A competition is starting. I'm the only person on the server. I, I, I can't lose. It's the most mobs killed in the next 10 minutes. I, I haven't got a spawn or any way to do that, so... I need to get a spawn in the next 10 minutes so I can get those sky coins and get first place. I've also completely filled up one double chest worth. I'm not that far away from more than I need now. Also, apparently I'm blind. It's clearly a single chest worth. Now it's a double chest and there's plenty more space in it. Cactus farm is coming along nicely. I can buy another piece of sand and expand it even more. I need to remember to use my fortune pickaxe when I'm mining the grown potatoes because... You get way, way more from them. This pumpkin farm's really coming together. I should get efficiency on my axe and then I can do it faster, but I've got to save my money for that spawner. I can get 14,000 from all that. One pig spawner is 25,000. I'm so close to that, okay? It will not take me long at all to get there. Fairly confident that should do it. Oh, loads. Wow, I'm getting, it, it's getting money so fast. Pig spawner obtained. I don't care where it goes. And as a meme, I'm going to attempt to win the competition, taking out just one mob. It really will be competition win of the century if I somehow pull that off. And I've run out of dirt again. I can start buying it more though, which is always good. But for now, I'm just going to continue just to store it in here. And I'll keep collecting more money from this. The money is starting to rake in. 18,000 from one short session there. That can get me another stack of dirt. Harvesting melons is part of one of the missions. So that's uh, it's always good. I did it. I was the competition champion. And I just got 25,000 sky coins and 500,000 dollars. This is perfect. Wow, I can't believe I won my own competition. We can now upgrade the mob on this. I think it becomes a spider, and then I'll be getting bones on the next one after it at this point. Now to expand this platform a little bit. And Operation Smelt Loads of Cobblestone can now begin. Although in order to actually do that, I, I need way more coal, which I can easily get from mining. I've obtained just the right amount for every single furnace. Still don't think I have all the cobblestone I need, so whilst that's smelting, I'll mine up just a little bit more. Since I've now got so much money, I might as well buy loads and loads of dirt and, and really expand these farms. And having loads of potatoes is good, but I also have to get the carrot and wheat masteries. So I'll buy one wheat seed, which is, is pretty expensive again. And also one singular carrot, so they, can, they get plenty. What's the big idea with you, by the way? Don't think you're going on to mine ice crops. Now that they're growing, I can go back to mining these potatoes. I'm just kind of looking out for all the ones that are fully grown. Getting the farmer's harvest will be great, but I think I need to get tier one in quite a lot of these different farming things, so it's a little bit off. Although I am fairly confident I can get it within the 24 hours. Also, probably a good idea for me to build a second layer of the melon farm, since they are so easy to grow. They're all planted. As I wait for them to grow, I can continue to harvest the other ones and also get the potatoes. The first batch of stone is done. So another load can be smelted. My wheat has also grown. My carrots did grow before so, and I've planted more of them, but we can plant a wheat seed here and we can plant more of them there. Plus these potatoes are growing all the time. So I'll just do a little bit more harvesting. Then whilst I wait for everything else to grow and everything else to smelt, I'm going to upgrade the crop growth rate to speed things up. And I can continue doing lots of mining. And I'm also getting hungry, so it's good that I have uh, some food arrived. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The last 24 hour challenge, I had McDonald's, this one KFC. Still not got a sponsor for food. And I'm going to continue collecting cobblestone, selling all the extra stuff and mining away as I eat my KFC. And if for some reason you want to watch me eat this, it'll be in the full 24 hour thing on my second channel. The KFC has gone. It was very, very tasty indeed. I feel like I could eat another one of them. I'm still kind of hungry, but you know what? That'll have to do for now. I can't spend the entire 24 hours eating, can I? We have loads more of this that has been smelted, but it's still not where I need to be. So more and more is still going in. There's also loads of island missions that I haven't actually claimed the rewards for. So we can we can get loads of stuff here. Not that one though. Most of them just roll me with 25,000. I just got to make sure. Yeah, look at that. Another one. Claim smelting loads of things. Claim it. And this one's the most important because if I harvest a thousand crops, I get a crop hopper. And I'm going to... Oh, look what I got here. I got a... Oh, a sky coins booster. Nice. But yeah, if I, if I get a crop hopper, I can make a cactus farm. 
that is very, very OP. Because my current one is, um, <laughs> it's not really that great. Also, I think I should take out a load of pigs because, you know, it's needed. Have I not got fire aspect on this? I should I should pay for that. It's pretty cheap, 10,000. Uh, 10,000 is cheap nowadays. That used to be expensive, didn't it? But now, oh, I can afford that easily. Also need efficiency on my axe so that I can insta-mine the things like the pumpkins. It's still a little bit slow. I wonder if I get efficiency four or five, it'll be better. Yep, efficiency five was what was needed. I just used up all of my money to do this. But you know what? I have no regrets from it. More or less every single potato has grown too. Just 10,000 sky coins away, so a bit more tree mining will help. It's actually way faster now that I have an efficiency five axe. And I might as well work on getting the rest of the sky coins by mining away. I'm not far off smelling every bit of stone that I need to. I think I've just got to do it one more time through the 12 furnaces. No, I think I've just done it then. I think it only counts when you take it out of the furnace and, and I've done it. Okay, that is very, very good indeed. Got some nice blocks from that too. Nice blocks that I'm going to sell because, you know, priorities and all that good stuff. And I'll continue on my quest for 50,000 sky coins. And that's perfect. 50,000 sky coins have been accomplished. We can upgrade you one more time. And can we can we afford an efficiency upgrade? That would be great as well if I could. Can't quite at the moment. Even though I'm getting 20, 000, I need 200 down to do it. I feel like all of this is 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 not going to cut it either. Most importantly, we're now getting bones, and that means we're getting bone meal, and that means I can grow crops much much faster, which will really open up lots and lots of avenues for me in making as much progress as possible. All the limitations I once had are definitely now gone, and I should probably get more dirt so I can plant many many more crops. Although before I do anything else, I need to kill 500 mobs to do the other daily mission, and then I get the bonus reward. So, you know what? I think I think pigs right now have got to be the first thing on the menu. And it does also get me more sky coins, even if, if it's a small amount of them, but it's definitely worth it. Although, because there's only one spawner there, I think it makes sense that I mine, and then as I'm mining, I'm close enough to the spawner for the pigs to keep spawning. They'll keep stacking on this one, so I'll, I'll end up with loads and loads and loads. And once I sell all of that, I can give you the good old upgrade to be even more efficient. And apparently we've already got 80 bones there as well. Very nice. I've got more rewards to claim, which is, means more sky coins and more money, which is nice. Basically, give me 200,000 back straight away. And now what I want to do is I want to build a cactus farm, but I want to build one that is all the way down at the bottom. Then I'll have lots and lots of room to build it upwards. I don't, you know, I don't want to be limited by the height of the world. Best way to do that will be first to grab a load of oak logs and turn to planks. And then I can have this pour down here. This is probably as good of a spot as it needs to be. From there, I just have to place planks as I fly downwards. That should be low enough. And crop hoppers grab all the items from crops in a single chunk, so it's going to be perfect for the cactus. That's the bottom platform done. Now, I've never actually used a crop hopper, so I'm hoping it works as I expect it to. I just need to harvest 24 more crops to get it, which will thankfully be very, very easy. There we go. I'll gather up the sand and cactuses, take out a few extra pigs, and then attempt to build the very efficient cactus farm. Looks like buying lots of sand is necessary. I can afford a couple of stacks, four stacks actually, so I should be more than okay. This is not like the kind of farm you'd see in a normal world because of the crop hopper. I can fit way more in a much more dense space. And I'm guessing if I could just make a crafting table and then make a... Well, I probably want a double chest, actually. That can go here. Then a normal hopper can go into the back of that. Another double chest on top. And then the crop hopper. I'm just going to break it and see what happens. Like, if I go like that, has it been picked up automatically? Has the crop hopper done its thing? It has! Okay, fantastic. Definitely did not expect this to work, but at the moment, the cactuses will not harvest themselves automatically. So I need to buy string from the shop. Now, buying this string is going to clear me out. I should have used my minion string when I had the chance. But basically, string goes between the cactus, and then you can put sand there so that when it grows, it will automatically break. And this is kind of how you can crisscross it up. I just don't have enough sand or cactus to make it as big as it needs to be. But well, this is definitely going to be a good start. And it seems like the only way for me to make proper progress on it is to get more money, so <laughs> harvesting potatoes it is. The crops are starting to bring money in, you know, 40,000 for harvesting all of that. And I've still got all of the pumpkins and melons to go at. And they only got me 2,000. You know what? I, I feel like the pumpkin and melon farm is nowhere near as good as the other crop farm. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that, though. Even if it's not always great, doesn't mean I want to destroy it. I'll just do this for a little bit extra so I have a bit more cash, and then the bottom of this can be completed. Still didn't quite have enough money to finish it, so it's uh, back to mining again. And I fancy stretching my legs a bit more, so it's time to bring back the standing desk. Another competition starting any second now, and if anyone can win it, it's, it's me. Most sugar cane farmed. Okay. I think that's enough. It's just tradition now that I do the bare minimum of something to win a competition. Now that crops are becoming such a great source of money, 
I am going to upgrade the speed that they grow even more. And then I can complete the cactus farm. As expected, I won the competition and won 500k. And also 25,000 sky coins. And I did it all by harvesting just one sugar cane. This is filling up nicely, constantly getting me more. And with this newfound cash... I think I can complete another layer. At least I will be able to create another layer once I've got more cactus grown. So whilst I wait, I will harvest every single one of my crops. And I think I'll also get myself sat back down as well. This is the perfect opportunity to grab these bones, loads of them, and start getting myself bone meal to fully grow all the crops over here that need the little boost. Now that that's looking good, bringing in money, now that this is bringing in plenty more bones and arrows, which which aren't really worth that much, but, but still better than nothing. I think I can build a nice little nano crop farm that's going to let me obtain the masteries of the crop farming. I think that makes sense. Basically, it's just a little thing that's going to be here. In fact, I'm just going to move it across one. The dirt is here, and then there's going to be dispensers on all three sides. In fact, for now, I'm just going to do two dispensers and see how it goes. Then I've got... Oh, I don't need that, but yeah, I need to go like that and get these observers in position. They'll be constantly setting both of those off. Now, obviously, it's very noisy and annoying right now, so I need to get these in position. And then I think if I go like this, it turns them off. That turns them back on. Now, I just need the bone meal, which I'll have plenty of right here. I'll evenly distribute it to both dispensers. I'm hoping, yeah, look at that. They both get filled to the top, so that's fantastic. And let's say I want to increase my potato mastery. We grab one of them, and I put it here. It grows straight away, and I want to grow it. Okay, so that's how I've got to do it. I, I'm gonna, I want to break it with the fortune pickaxe. Just because, wait, if I hold down right click, yeah, I've just got to keep switching. Like, the reason I want to use the fortune pickaxe, well, it's obvious reasons, I get more for it. After a bit of practice, you can get in quite the rhythm for this. And I want to see how fast it actually works for me. So I've got 1,208 mastery points so far. I'm going to do it for the next five minutes and just see, yeah, how much I actually get. That's been five minutes and about 275 mastery points. That's not bad, you know. I'll get busy making improvements to the machine. And here is design 2.0. It's very similar to the one I made last season. Because it's a tried and tested method and it's very successful at getting your mastery points. Basically, you crouch under here and as you can see... Only when the crop is fully grown do you break it. So it's very, very fast. You basically... It's, it's so much faster getting your mastery points. In fact, we're going to do another timing thing. Run 1548. Let's see what we end up after this. So I did run out of bone meal pretty quickly. It seems like that's like the only limiting factor with this. This guy just can't produce it fast enough, can you? Come on, speed up. But even so, I went up a lot of mastery points. It's just a shame that the bone meal does go down so fast. Once I upgrade the servant more, that won't be too much of an issue. This cactus farm is probably going to get me the money to do that. Look at that. Loads and loads of cactus. And I can expand this farm even more. Just need one more stack of strength to finish this level, but that's 112,000. So reaching that amount of money is the next goal. Since I have so many sky coins, I might as well upgrade the generator as well. More island missions are being completed. Just look at all these rows of crops. They look amazing, so organized, and they're ready for harvesting. Pretty sure I read on the wiki that if you plant crops in rows of different sorts, then they grow faster than if you just plunk in loads and loads together. So I've been attempting to make full use of that. The amount that I needed has now been reached to buy an entire stack of string. There we go. I'm realizing it's costing me about four to 500,000 per layer. And in here, all this cactus, how much is it worth? A measly 13,000. I feel like it's going to take quite some time for me to get my money's worth out of this. But when I do, it will be worth it. Just a shame I don't have an easier way to get string. Can I can I downgrade you to where <laughs> I think you can only upgrade, you can't downgrade. And the spider spawner is a tier two one, which means I have to take out a, a, a lot to uh, to do it. I've got to buy 100 spawners and take out 12,000 mobs. And I think it's probably the 100 spawners bit that's going to be the hardest part with that. I do need to get a proper dedicated place for spawners, but I'm going to buy a sheep one for now, put it next to it, because there is a quest to take out, I think, 75 sheep and 75 pigs. I've already done the pigs. And so the sheep are next on the menu. I've just put something on the auction so that if somebody buys it, it will be another quest completed for me. Yes, I am the only one on the server, but some of the devs and mods can come on and, uh, and do it for me. So that is what I'm planning and hoping for. Whilst I wait for more mobs to spawn, I will continue doing a bit more mining. And I've done it. Somebody bought it, so I've completed the merchant mission. And there's another competition starting. I love these competitions because there's nobody that can ever beat me. Okay, what is the competition? Most pumpkins farmed. Oh, conveniently, I have a pumpkin farm. Wanna to do it? Although, you know what? I have so many pumpkins available. I might as well just harvest them all, you know. The, the, the one, the one uh, thing to win a competition it was good while it lasted. But now I need to start taking these competitions a little bit more seriously. Now, the last time I played Minecraft for 24 hours straight, I, I made a mistake. And that mistake was to build a house after having played Minecraft for about 20 hours already when I was feeling so, so tired. So this time I'd like to build a house much earlier. I've just got to pick the right spot. Maybe somewhere over this direction. Although to do that, I think this cobblestone generator 
is going to have to be removed. Because this is kind of like the best spot to build a house, really. And I, I, I know you can't see the world border, but there is one there. And I oh, don't fall down, but I can't go too far across. So I'll spend a little bit longer mining there. Maybe keep going till I get... Well, I'll just get a bit more money in the bank and a few more Sky Coins. And the whole thing can be removed and I'll build another one somewhere else. Also, I've just won that competition. It's fantastic. I've got loads of money again. And because of that, I'm going to postpone my little mining fiasco down there. Take out a couple more sheep and add another layer to the cactus farm. Nicely done. The generator can be upgraded once again. If I get prop one on all of my diamond armor, it completes yet another quest. Well, it will do once I get sharpness for this sword as well. There we go. Generator 25 more sheep is also another quest, but that's a little bit off. The most important thing right now I can do, I think, is try out this new and improved generator. I've got the super break and I'm still not quite ready to get rid of it to make way for my house because now... It looks like the crops are more or less ready to harvest. Look at all these that I've got. I think I got these from a quest. Applied a lot of them. I did break my boots in them because there's always a chance of that happening. But some of them worked, some of them didn't. But I'll, I'll take it because we've got some, some cool stuff like a chance to get haste 3 on my pickaxe. Which is great for this. In fact, there is an island upgrade where you can get haste as well. Doesn't require many sky coins. Requires quite a lot of money though. But I have got quite a lot of it so let's spend it. And for the haste it's 25,000 sky coins and 250,000. Shouldn't be too hard to get. Especially when I've harvested all these crops. And now that I have speed, as you might have guessed, it's, uh, it's really sped things up. The slayer mission is now complete which means I've done all of these. I now want to advance missions, which I've, I've done none of them, and they look kind of hard, to be honest. So I'll allow myself to complete those quests naturally. In the meantime, I'm collecting all of your bones and the ones that I have in this chest so that I can fire this machine back up. 2616 mastery points. I want to get to tier 1 potatoes so that I can make potato minions. They're just going to be very, very useful. How close I get, I don't know. I'll probably get past 3,000, though, with this, which, in my opinion... Isn't half bad. Ran out of bone meal again, but it has got me another 700 mastery. So when I have the bone meal, it works really well. It's just when I don't have the bone meal, it, it, it doesn't. Although I'm kind of curious to see how much compost I'd actually get for all these potatoes. Let's, let's test it out. And unless I get more iron to make more hoppers, it'll take forever to do that. So I'm, I'm going to make a proper composting machine. Also got my first pig head, which is very nice. I'll, I'll just put him right there. Very handy that I'm now getting iron blocks. It allows me to make hoppers much easier. What have I got here as well? A quest pouch. Oh, I completed all the daily missions. I forgot completely. Let's see what the quest pouch... I feel like I've got to clear my inventory for this. So before I open the quest pouch, I'm going to craft the hoppers that I need. Then build a bit of a mechanism here that will allow me to quickly compost every single potato. Or at least it would do if I could remember how to build things. <laughs> Let's just try that again with two hoppers on top and then chests like so. And now they'll actually go through the system. Whilst that gets me the bone meal, I'm going to harvest all the pumpkins and all the melons. I think pumpkins and melons are another good one where I should just turn them into compost rather than sell them because you don't get much for selling them. I mean, potatoes you get a lot more for in comparison. But yeah, with pumpkins and melons, for the amount you get back, it's it's, it's kind of not worth it. Very poor of me to not notice my axe was breaking and now I've just lost my axe. That's um, that's sad. I guess I, I used my fortune pickaxe. In reality, I'm going to have to spend more time. Oh man, look at the haste I've got on there. That must be the fancy new uh, new effect upon them. Sometimes you get haste. Seems like I get a decent amount of bone meal from the composting. It's just the fact that it's it's not a big enough machine to make it worthwhile. If I'm going to make it worthwhile, I'm going to have to step it up a bit. And that means saving plenty more iron for hoppers. And I would collect wood for the composters, but I need to make a new axe. Before I do that, I want to see what this quest pouch is. Moment of truth. Okay. It, it, does it roll anything? Here we go. First roll. Got a slime. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That made it all worthwhile. It's a tier two spawner worth 150,000. I will take that every day of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Granted, a spider spawner would have been the best outcome, but we can't complain. I've got to be happy with what I've got. I have to spend loads of money on getting efficiency five on this again. And I think investing in fortune is quite smart considering I'm using it on melons. And whilst I'm doing upgrades, might as well get netherite. Do it to my sword. And also the axe. Also, guys, I was feeling a bit cold, so I've put the 4 mil merch on. I think it looks very nice. It's very comfy. It's very warm. And yeah, I'm changing my channel to SP747. Also, guys, there'll be a secret 10% off discount code regularly broadcasted on the server. So make sure you log on to see it. Now I can mine my trees at high speed. Begin my big industrial composter. The composters themselves will go above these hoppers. And apparently poisonous potatoes aren't compostable. Didn't even know that. They're actually worth quite a lot of money, so I'm glad about that. Anyway, I think pretty much everything is composted bar these potatoes. That's all the bone meal that all got me. It's not a crazy amount, but I'm thinking if I put the melons and pumpkin farms only to use on it, then maybe it'll be better. The hoppers will go above each one of these and single chests over there. Now I'd like to mine up the pumpkins and the melons and set them off composting. Now mining all of them hasn't really yielded much bone meal. I mean, that was already there. 
because I haven't put the melons in and because it's just not a big enough farm. But if I keep all these melons to one side, in fact, I'll put them, yeah, I'll put them in this chest and expand this farm to be more layers, then I think I could be on for a winner. And first things first, dirt is quite expensive and melons and pumpkins can grow onto other blocks such as moss. One dirt block costs 350, one moss block costs 800. But we're going to use moss blocks, but but why? Well, you may remember there was a quest to smelt loads and loads of stone, so I've, <laughs> I've got loads of stone, which I can turn into moss so easily, just by bone milling the area and mining it up. Then I can start replacing this dirt with moss, which basically makes my resources go way further. I'm also 99% sure from what the wiki said that they will grow into moss. Okay, well, that relaxes me a little bit because I was worried that I'd, I'd got the information wrong and I was doing this for no reason, but no, it does work. I can still be confident that this is an ingenious plan. And I have to say, the green of the moss looks way better than dirt. Also, I've just noticed that I am now eight hours in. I, it, it's too much, it's flown by, guys. I'm having a whale of a time, not feeling tired, you know, I'm just enjoying the game, which is it's, it's a good sign, to be honest with you. So hopefully it keeps up, but I'm only a third of the way through, so I, I know exactly what this challenge is like. Once you get into the middle of the night territory, it gets much much harder. Also, I'll just take a quick break from placing all the moss because the farm is ready to be harvested. Oh, there's someone in. Oh, <laughs> Living Eggy made me jump. I didn't even realize he joined. <laughs> just while I'm in the middle of farming as well. Well, yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll go and say hello to him. He, he won't be impressed because I, um, I haven't really done any of his quests. A nice visit from Squid. Got lots and lots of moss in all that time. So I'm going to use it to build the next layer of the melon farm. I think the best way, yeah, is to do something like that. I should at some point add some ladder. Also, should I add that now first? I'll add a ladder so that there's actually a way to get up and down. Because <laughs> at the moment... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But at the moment, you, you have to parkour to get up there. And it's, it's... I mean, yeah, it looks good, but... This is just basically the massive farming section, so... Some sort of ladder system would probably be good. We could just use this to get up and down. And at each floor, I just want a little platform that I can easily get onto. The next floor, I think, you know, I'll build it first and then I'll, I'll add all the technical bits. Definitely better to be building this with moss first time now as well, rather than having to remove the dirt and place it in after. All ground has been tilled. Now we can just plant them and work on the next layer up. Very nice indeed. Do I have enough moss to build another layer? I'm not sure I do. Actually, I take it back. I've got loads of moss. I haven't got enough dirt to build another layer though, but I'll save up the money and do it later on. Right now, my crops are once again ready to be harvested. It's always a good day when a competition is starting because it means <laughs> I can be victorious. Top five players with the most blocks broken in 10 minutes. Well, that's that's too easy. Because I have a very nice fast cobblestone generator, I've got a pickaxe that sometimes gets haste. Look at me go, I'm, I'm so speedy. So that should be another competition victory in the bag. Well, the cactus farm has been working nicely in the background. Another good amount of it. Worth 28,000. Now it's starting to pick up. The more layers I get, the more it will. It needs to be way bigger still. But unless I get another servant that will harvest me string, I I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I could spend 2.5 million on pig spawners. That, that would get me all that I need. Then I'd be able to get a spider spawner. But that that's quite a grind, isn't it, to get 2.5 million. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do it. Competition champion. Nice. Well, that's 500,000 in the bank. And at 3848 mastery points, I'm going to once again boot up this stuff. 836 bones. There's a lot of bone meal to be had there. Plus what we've got in here, which is a nice little haul from the melon farm. Not as good as, uh, as this fella. But it's a good extra thing to have. So now fill up the dispensers with loads of bones to spare, which is nice. And hopefully finish operation, get a potato minion. Don't know how much bone meal's left. Just want to check in on the masteries. 4798. That's really close now. And, well, there's no bone meal there. Oh, there's loads in that one, though. And loads in that one. Fantastic. If I can just take a few out of here, I reckon I can get enough to get tier one mastery level on potatoes. And then minions can be made. Guys, I'm literally 26 away and ran out of bone meal. How annoying is that? Not to worry though, because a lot of these crops have grown. And I've also got more potatoes that I can plant. So I reckon harvesting a few of these should get me the mastery level that I need. Indeed I have. Right, I can finally make a potato minion. I I'm so excited to do this. As I shown earlier, it is just a hoe with all of those potatoes around it should be pretty easy. I, I do have a hole in my inventory, but I don't know if it needs to be a new one. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, it does need to be a new one. Thankfully, that's not an issue because I have loads of diamonds. I have sticks knocking about as well. So it can easily be done. Craft it. I've got it. Right, can I, can I do it again with another now? I'm not sure if it's two or four this time. It's four. I can upgrade it. So it's eight, then 16, 32, 64, then enchanted potatoes, which I'm not even sure if I can craft, but I'm, I'm going to test it out. Nope, I'm not a high enough mastery. You have to be tier two on the potato mastery. That would mean 
mining up another 5,000 potatoes, which I really don't fancy doing. So I am just going to stick to getting the best one that I can, which is tier six. All right, let's go and place this guy down. Do you mind? This is a this is a great moment. Yeah, I'm going to place him down, I think here. Where is he? There he is, the potato minion. So he's going to mine up potatoes. Come on, let's see it. So there he goes with his farmland. He's just broke it. And I think every time he does that, he sells it for me as well automatically. From what I can tell, he's gaining me mastery points, but he doesn't gain me money. That's that's good though. But I think I should just get loads of them. I can get loads of potatoes from here. So I'll get as many potato minions as I can, but I do feel like they deserve their own home. They don't, you know, I mean, I can't put them all dotted around randomly. They need like a proper place to live. And I reckon to make room for that place to live, the orchard has to go. These trees, see you later. And I also have to wait for more of these potatoes to grow. So I'm thinking, I mean, most of them look like they have, but there's a few stragglers. So I'm thinking just maybe spend a little bit of time at the cobblestone gen. Although I no longer want to sell my potatoes. I want to keep them to one side handy and safe. Since they'll now be used for minions. Now three quarters of the way to one mil. Got all of this to harvest. I, th I think, well not all of those, but I think I've got to prioritize potatoes now, haven't I? Also nice to be just getting past the 10 hour mark. I'm still feeling pretty good. Not, yeah, not, not bad at all. I, I think to remember until you get to 12 hours. Generally, it's not too bad. It's quarter past 11 at night. I've got the Red Bull in the fridge when I need it. And I'm just ready to keep playing Skyblock. And I'll be honest, guys, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying working on the island, grinding, doing all sorts of stuff. I know what I need to do. I've got a lot of work to get where I want to be. So everything is looking pretty good. So right here, I'm going to add more slabs. And then using oak wood and stone bricks, I can make them a nice little home. It can be expanded eventually if it needs to be. But for now, I think this is a, this is a nice size. I just want to... Split them up into different bays. Maybe I could use something nicer, like little fence posts. Yeah, I think that's that's good. I don't want walls between them. Just just something nice, like okay, that's the wrong size. Making it narrower by one block, just so that it's all symmetrical. I know I haven't really got the money to just be splashing out on cosmetic things, but I think some shroom lights on the floor will look nice. I mean, these minions are going to be working very hard, so they deserve something half decent. So that is what they will get. I'm not sure. Maybe they could be something cool. You know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. Extra fence above each one. Now I need to despawn this by pressing that. I've got the, the potato minion thing and he can go right there and he just needs a little bit of rotation. Look at me, good sir. I guess you belong over there as well. Yeah, I think can I, can I, will it reset? It better not reset. Let me click the bones. Let me go like that and get you in here. Yeah, okay, you haven't lost any progress. That's good. Get yourself rotating so you're looking the right way, good sir. And get back to work. Also got a good amount of bones. Good amount of potatoes in there as well. Let's let's craft another one of these. Although crafting requires more diamond hose, which requires more diamonds. Which just means I need to do more mining. Menu number two has been crafted. Then it can be added to the ranks. Still a bit to go till I get to that 2.5 million. But it's always good to see that this crop hopper also picks up crops that are inside the same chunk. So... I've got more potatoes here. And I think if I combine them with these ones, I can upgrade the minion to tier six, which is the same as that guy. I can also get a lower level minion here, just not one of the best ones. But I'll soon upgrade him when all my potatoes grow. Now I can come back down here for the actual thing that I cared about. And that was selling my cactus. And there's got to be a bit of money here. The total came to about 35,000, which is not bad at all, considering it's completely passive income. If I could get more string, <laughs> it would be even better, wouldn't it? Whilst those minions work away, I can harvest all these melons and pumpkins, which could get me just... $3,000. It's absolutely rubbish, to be honest with you. Or I can put it all in the composter system and see just how much that gets me. I feel like that will be way more useful. Also, there's a competition starting. I always get excited when these happen. I wouldn't, they're not every hour, are they? Are they every, like, couple of hours or something? All the hours merge into one for me. Anyway, it's top blocks broken again, which is easy enough. I'll just go to the cobblestone generator. Meanwhile, the melon slice have been doing nicely. There was already 47 in there, bone meal though, so bear, bear that in mind. This little fella's got me another 156. And I'd really like to reach 1 million in the bank, okay? That's that's going to be my goal. So I'm going to go ahead and break a little bit of stuff here, put down a double chest, followed by an ore hopper, then a mine away. And does it pick them up for me? So they don't even go into inventory, it just goes straight into there. Okay, interesting. Well, I suppose that's got to be a good thing. Every now and again, I pick some up, but it keeps things spacious. And yeah, I can get the blocks broken, and I can get money and sky coins too. Whilst that does that, I have ordered a McDonald's that's just arrived, so I'm gonna go and get it. Here it is, and if you want to see me eat it, go and watch the full 24-hour uncut video. Still munch my way through the McDonald's, but I have kind of filled up this chest, and I want to use a cell wand on it. It gets 100 uses, so I might as well do that, and then it's... Is it just salt? Just sold it all. Fantastic. And then there's stuff in there. But that's that's so so easy. And I'm at 1.5 million. So yeah, 2.5 million out of all the spawns I need. Should I start buying them now? I need to buy 100 of them. 
and take out the mobs as well, which is quite a big ask. The black market deals around the tools. Oh, I always want to see this. I've never found him before. I'm, I'm going in. You got warp war zone to go to him. Then there's a staircase down here. Aha. This must be the tunnels. Where are you, black market dealer? I want some good stuff like a, a, a servant or something. <laughs> that sounds really bad out of context. I've never even been to the tunnels before. I didn't know that they're so big. So you have to explore these and hope that you can find him. As we said, so far, it's <laughs> I'm not having much success. Is that him? Are you, the, are you the guy that I'm searching for? I've never seen you before. Hello. Click to view. Okay, available for 12 minutes. Oh, we've got loads of time. Right. What? Well, I can get a spider spawner for just 180,000. Oh, this solves all my problems. A servant key. Two million. Oh, I just can't afford it. Oh, that's so sad. That is sad. I can't afford it. But this is going to save me a lot of money. Because I don't have to try and get a spider spawner the proper way. Wow. Anything else worth grabbing? I'm going to buy a few of the spice ones. Probably maybe like four of them. And then I'm going to grab a few boosters as well. Because they're, they're going to be handy for everything too. Yeah, disappointed I couldn't get a servant key. But I'm sure I'll be able to get another one down the line. It won't be the only time I ever found Mr. Black Market Man. I kind of just committed to spending all my money on spider spawns, didn't I? Do, I? I need to make a proper area for these. But let's just stack them up. I mean, that's a great thing, isn't it? That's, that's going to save me a lot of money on a cactus farm. And now I can build it up. So, so much. So I think it was worthwhile. I, I think that was a worthwhile thing to do. And I already got a spider head. That's nice. I don't want to sell my string. Put that to one side and I'll sell everything else. It's great to have so many spiders just waiting here. And I'm also 11 hours in. Not quite halfway. Still feeling good though. Honestly, I, the, finding those spider spawners has made me feel so great. It basically just makes me want to keep playing all night now that I feel like I can make loads more progress. And if I could get to 2 million by the time the black market dealer comes back, I could maybe go and get a servant key. Wouldn't that be amazing? Earning that kind of money won't be easy, but at some point my daily missions are going to reset, so that's going to help. And I think if I take the time to make a much bigger potato farm, that would help things too. So there's definitely plenty of potential with it. I, I kind of feel like this big melon and pumpkin farm is sort of a waste of time, other than the fact that, yes, it's got me a decent amount of bone meal. So it could maybe be viewed as good from a certain point of view. Since I've got so many sky coins, I'm going to invest in increasing the crop growth rate. I only need another 8,000 sky coins to upgrade it again, which I'm tempted to do. Guys, I'll say this now. I do not feel... Wanna? That's the same. I do not feel remotely tired. I know I'm not even halfway, but I, th I think I was feeling better than I did last time I did this. I I yeah, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I think maybe I'm just getting good at... Did I just sell everything in there by mistake? Oh, well, that makes me not feel so good. <laughs> Careful what you do with the cell one. <laughs> I wouldn't mean, sell something important in there. Apart from the fact that I just stole all the string that I was saving for that farm. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. And I, I think I feel better at this point than I did the last time I did the 24 hours. So maybe I'm getting more used to it. I don't know. Because there's still a long way to go. And realistically, anything could happen. I'm going to get at least another two layers put on here, if not more. Just depends how much sand I can afford. Well, I've done the two that I was going to do. And if I grab myself a load more string, I'll be able to build myself another three layers. Nicely done. That'll really increase the rates. And I've already got quite a few cactus in here ready to sell. Because I've spent so many sky coins increasing the rates of all my crops, as you can imagine, they've, they've all grown and are ready to be harvesting. But once they're done, I promise you, I've got to go and build a house. If I don't hurry up and build a house, it's going to get too late and I'm going to get too tired. So I've got to make sure I do it while I still can. Yet another competition is starting, which means another 500k for me, hopefully. <laughs> Unless I somehow lose. It's a most mob kills one, which is super straightforward. Just do a bit of that, bit of that, and it's job done. Guys, I have just passed halfway. And, and you know what? I don't feel too bad at all. I've, I feel way better than I did last time getting to halfway. And the fact is that every hour now is an hour close to finishing is fantastic. I'm sure I'm not out of the woods yet and things are still going to get harder at some point in the future. But for now, I'm just having so much fun that the, the time is just flying by. Just won another competition and I think with my winnings, I'm going to buy a load of dirt and then build a second layer of this crop farm. Although for this to work, down here is going to need sufficient light. So I'm going to use shroom lights to do that since this all needs to be done as efficiently as possible. And I know I said I was going to build a house, but, but the potatoes can be growing whilst I'm building it, guys. Okay, don't, don't worry. All the dirt is down and tilled. So now I'll plant all my potatoes and it's all planted. Plus I've got spare dirt. So it makes sense to do yet another layer as well. I know I keep getting distracted, but I'm just making one more final minion. And then I'm making my island look good. I'm starting to get tired, which is worrying because I've been feeling wide awake for all this time. And now, yeah, fatigue is setting in. But that would make sense considering I have been going for nearly 13 hours. Now, for this house, I'm going for a pretty simple but cool design, which will first require me to fill in this entire platform. Then I can buy the various resources that I'll need to build my house. Also, I meant to buy black concrete and ended up with black wool. That's a, that's a mistake. I'm also going to remove this machine because it's kind of in the way of where I want to build. You might be able to see where this build is going. Well, one thing I do know is it's, um, 
It's going a very strange way. Did you see the resemblance? Hopefully when I put the sunglasses on, it'll all look a little bit better. I'm not sure the sunglasses are helping. I, I, I think they've got to be taken off. Although I've moved the beak down a little bit and it's, it's not too bad. I think I like it. Now I'm going to work on the sides. And the walls and roof are also complete. I'm quite happy with how it looks. It's like a black void inside though. <laughs> so I'm going to mine for ores and begin to replace the entire back wall with diamond blocks. Since I need to get my island value up, otherwise I, I won't be the top island at season's release. I can't just stay AFK there because I have also got this to harvest, which looks ready to go. So I better sell up and get to work. I think because I made two more layers, I now have more than enough potatoes to make the remaining minions that I want. So I'll get busy putting them together. That's the first one and also the second. Now to mine many, many carrots and I'll mine lots more ores. Also, I'm 14 hours in. I don't feel super tired. It is... 20 past 3 in the morning. I I'm managing okay. I still feel like I've got so much to do on the island and I've got a cold Big Mac to eat. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be nice. Very tasty. I think it was just what the doctor ordered at 3 a.m. in the morning. I grabbed a few more diamond blocks, nine to be precise, to go along this back wall. And I think the plan for the floor is to have it as netherite blocks, but that's probably going to be even harder to get. On a positive note though, my entire inventory sells for 29k and what was in the chest sold for another 36k, which is great. I also have yet to go and see how... The cactus farm is getting on. Okay, it's, it's getting on very well by the looks of things. Oh, it's getting on too well. It's overflowing. Okay, that's just great. Let's um, <laughs> get rid of the carrots and let's sell all the cactus. So it's like 30,000 per half chest. So it's like, what, 60,000 a chest? Which, if you ask me, is not bad at all. And in my opinion, makes it worthwhile to add a load more layers to it. Before I do that, look at how many bones we have 1,640. I can barely hold them all. When you combine them with what I have in this chest... We're looking good for bone meal. So I reckon I finish filling in this platform and then I use this space to rebuild the nano crop farm. So much bone meal, I've loaded up every dispenser, start up the machine and put it to use. Whilst I gain money from the wheat and mastery points, I'm gonna go and stretch my legs and get some exercise. The black market dealer has just gone back in the tunnels. I'm, I'm, I'm going for a look. Who knows what good stuff he'll have available for me. There he is. And he has a couple of sky coins boosters, which I'm gonna buy. The crop hopper's also really good, but that's 2.5 million and I cannot afford that, nor do I want to try and afford that. So I shall leave him for now. And I guess I'll just get back to the big carrot harvest. Just been farming away and there is now only nine hours left. Still feeling good. Think I can do this challenge. I mean, it's going to get worse, but but for now, I'm absolutely fine. Tell you what isn't fine though, this cactus farm. I want to add loads more layers to it. Because as we've already seen, it is getting me plenty of cactus, but it could get me plenty more. Now that I have so much money for sand and so much string, there's no reason why it can't be much, much bigger. Now, I'm fairly confident I could happily spend the next eight hours grinding away, mining crops, getting the levels up, and just and just going through that, making my cactus farms, my potatoes farms, making them bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and I'd be perfectly happy to do that. But part of me worries that that might not make for a very interesting end to the video. I, I mean, I shouldn't really care about this. I'm doing this for 24 hours. I should do what I want, really. Just get through it. But I'm going to try and make it entertaining as well somehow. So first things first, I need to improve my house. Because right now... It, for the most part, doesn't look that great on the inside. But the black market dealer just entered the tunnels, so I'd better go and see him. And before I go and see him, I want to just nip down to the cactus farm and sell all of these so that I have more money to spend with him if I need it. I managed to track him down. He's selling a silverfish spawn. Can I get a loan for that or something? Because they are legendary and very rare. Everything else is kind of not that great. I mean, these could be good, you know, if you get something decent from them. I mean, what does Restoration 1 do? And for me, I bought four of them and all of them were kind of useless. There's no way I can ever afford that. But he has some very, very cool things. But anyway, I'll have to focus on my house. I'd like this floor to be netherite, but as you can imagine, netherite blocks are, are not very cheap. 1.7 million for a stack. Yeah, maybe I'm not thinking this through. I have completed quite a few more of these missions and have rewards to claim. So maybe I just need to go through all of these and claim everything. And I certainly got a lot of stuff from claiming those. Plus things like a grinder key, loads of boosters. I'm going to head to warp crates and see what this key gets me. Since they're sometimes very, very powerful indeed. What is it? 10,000 sky coins. Uh, well, you know, maybe not that good. But it, it could have been worse. And now the plan is to dial it back on getting complete full netherite floor instead. I'm just going to buy 12 of them, okay? Which I think I can afford. I used a lot of money, but I could. And place them down is going to increase my island value. If I can get a 10,000 island value, then that is going to complete another quest. That's how I justified it, guys. Otherwise, there's no chance. I think getting some more diamonds would be good for that room as well. The thing is, I'd love the entire back wall to be diamonds. But I don't know if I'm... It's just going to take so long. Unless 
I upgrade the generator. That could be very smart indeed, and perhaps will be the only way I could get all the diamond blocks I need. But I need 100,000 sky coins. Now, my island does have 99,000. I think doing island missions makes the sky coins go straight there. So I basically got all I need. That worked way better than I thought it was going to do. The only other thing I could do is save the sky coins and expand the border. Ah, oh, no. Let's just impulse buy it, okay? The next one, can we get diamond blocks? We could get diamond blocks the next one. Which would be huge, but that's 250,000 sky coins. Might be worth working towards it. Maybe that's my next quest. Get this to be an entire diamond block wall. And I don't think I can get more nether. I, I wouldn't mind getting four more netherite blocks. That would be nice. And then the only other thing that, that really needs sorting is keep expanding that cactus farm. In fact, I've got to add a little bit on there anyway. Since I placed the cactus on top, but I didn't use any sand to block them. So now they're all growing to be way, way too tall. Managed to get a decent haul of diamonds from the generator. So let's make those into as many blocks as we can and then place them down. I basically want stuff on the walls because you can't see the walls because it's all black. <laughs> That's my main reason for wanting diamond blocks. And of course, I want a good item value too. I've got a bit more money left to add another layer to the cactus farm, which is actually starting to get quite big. I also didn't even notice, but we've now gone past the 16 hour mark. I'll tell you what, things are flying. I'm having a whale of a time playing Skyblock. It's actually quite good. When I did 24 hours in a normal Minecraft world, I felt like I ran out of things to do and I was constantly thinking, what, what should I do? What should I do now? Whereas in this, I, I just know exactly what I need to do and I'm just going to keep grinding until it's done. Now I can redeem a Skycoins booster and begin harvesting potatoes so, yeah, I can get Skycoins faster. And look at this, another competition. Most beetroot farmed in Minecraft. Well, I guess I'm going to have to start farming some beetroot because I've got a competition to win. And I need the Skycoins because I want 250,000 and I've only got 70,000 in the bank. So I'll buy beetroot seeds off the shop. Only 5,000, actually not that bad. How much do they sell for? Uh, they sell a bit less than everything else. We'll grab that. Then I've got loads of bone meal here, as you can see, and I've actually got quite a bit more bone meal in a chest down. Look at that, loads of it. Composting the pumpkins and melons has, has been working quite well. So I'll load up all the dispensers, switch on the machine, and begin the great beetroot harvest. I should also use a sky coin boost for this because you do tend to get quite a bit of XP. Ooh, I just set things on fire, but yeah, you do tend to get quite a few sky coins when using this little machine. So I might as well take full advantage of that. I won the beetroot competition, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's all worth it. I now up to $737,000. I, I kind of don't want to spend my money anymore. We're, we're right on brand. Although no, we're not on brand. It's 747 now because we're 4 million subs. Anyway, not, not, not to worry. I think I'm going to invest all that money into the cactus farm. I got enough string from the spiders to add five more layers, so that's what I intend to do. I mean, building this cactus farm isn't going to make me rich in this video, but I'm building something for the future because this series will be continued on the SP77 Plus channel. So once I've got this farm built up as big as possible, I'll be raking it in. And I'll be glad that I added layer after layer after layer of cactus. And they're all done. It's even bigger now is my cactus farm. And there's less than seven hours left. I wasn't even paying attention on the timer, guys. The hours are disappearing. I don't want it to end. I might have to go longer than 24. No, I'm not doing that. I still can't wait to go to bed. I am also going to sell all of this. Yeah, I'm still really looking forward to going to bed at some point. But I, I think I can still vote, which is going to be something quite useful. And I should probably do that. There's four different sites I can vote on, which is going to be very, very handy. Because it means I can get four vote keys, which I'm sure will get me some good rewards. There's always some good things. Spawners in there, iron blocks, whatever. I don't mind. I, I just want the money, really. Two sheep spawners and two stacks of iron. Well, that is an easy 16k, so I'll take it. And I'll make the sheep spawner a little bit faster. And there is quite a few missions that I haven't done that are fairly straightforward. So I think I should I should start with these. Such as placing down 32 pistons. I've done four, but I need 28 more. So I'm just going to go like this. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these pistons. Uh, just put them in a chest, I suppose. But hey, look at that. We got we got some free hoppers. Most importantly, we got 50 grand in the bank as well. So that's, that's great. Oh, I guess they placed a couple. We got 10 hoppers altogether. Excelente. And these brand new daily missions. If I do all of these, I'll get some great rewards. Now, the task that I'm about to carry out is probably the last thing that I want to do at this time in the morning when I've been playing for... 16, 17 hours, it's over 17 hours. Well, yes, I'm going to take my cobblestone and make a bit of a bit of a basin and go fishing because because I have to catch 10 fish. Well, that's one. Okay, only nine to go. Hopefully this isn't going to take too long. That was the most boring 15 minutes of my life. And especially when I've been awake this now, I'm tired anyway. But <laughs> I've managed to get the 10 fish needed. I, I say caught more than 10 fish, so I don't know why the quest only just completed. But anyway, it's another daily quest done. Now I need to do higher or lower 10 times. After I've removed all these blocks, I will anyway. I always lose when I do this, but I'm, I'm going to go for the most expensive one and do, do 10k. Like I said, just lost. But what's the chance of losing 10 times in a row, guys? Come on. Yeah, I'm one for one here. I've won two 
two out of three. Now we mix it up and go lower. Oh, I'm on a streak, guys. Three out of four. We then stick with lower. All right, it's all gone wrong now. You know what? Should have quit while I was ahead. But I have to do this 10 times in total, so I might as well. Oh, hey, we're back on winning terms. I think I've done the quest, but I'm just going to keep playing till I lose. Because it, 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 it just could be free money, guys. There we go. I lost. Quit while I'm ahead. I, I, I have actually made profit on that, which is unheard of. And I need to spend another 19,000 Sky Coins to get the bonus reward. I don't really want to do that, though. I'm saving up my Sky Coins to upgrade the generator, although that's quite a long way off. So I was going to harvest all my potatoes, but we have got ourselves a few more diamonds, which is nice to add to the collection. Here's my partner in crime, the dealer. What have you got for me today, sir? Skeleton spawn. I've got to take it. That's, that's unlimited bones, which means unlimited bone. It's a big win, sir. You... You are my best friend. I love that guy. Now, I don't ever have to rely on this measly servant to get me. I mean, yeah, granted, you, you're doing a good job. You're getting me a lot of bones. But it inevitably can't last forever. Whereas now, these will get me so many of them. And maybe I should go and buy another one. I can't afford it. I can, only, I can only afford one. But the beauty of these are that they'll be working whilst I'm using this. So I can kind of double, do two things at once, really. That one spawn on its own is kind of slow, actually. Is, is there any way I can drum up enough money to... Buy a second one, maybe with a load of cactus. Because I've invested a lot into this and, and, and I've got a lot from it. Was it enough? 213,000. I'll tell you what, it's not going to be far away. Especially when you consider that this guy... Look at 5,300 hours. If I just sell those, then has it got me enough? It's right. I think it was 240,000 I needed. Which has got to be what the contents of this chest is worth. Because I'm only going to get one chance of going back to him. Just to make sure I'm going to get 250k. Because I can't remember the exact amount. And I've got the super breaker, so I'll, I might as well make good use of it. So it's operation sell up. Warp to war zone. And the man I need is still here. Now, I can't remember how much it was. I've got eight minutes to get it for his. It's 270. I'll, I promise you I'll get you the money, sir. Just give me time. Seven minutes. Okay, I'll do it. You gotta be careful on the black market. These people don't mess about. I've gotta go get that 20k. Which shouldn't take too long at this ore generator. Almost there. Just need another 5k. That'll take two seconds. And there you have it. Job done. How many have we got? We've so got six. It does slowly bring him in, but I need something faster. All right, mate. As promised, I got your money. There you go. Just don't know when I have another chance to get one of them. So definitely worth it. It might not help me get all the masteries and the farmer's harvester today. But in the coming videos that I make on this, it's going to help so much being able to get more bones. I've got looting two on this. I, sh I should pay for looting three. Although it costs 40,000, so, so maybe I'll wait a little bit since I've not got that kind of money at the bout at the moment. Bit by bit, the wall is getting there. The next generator will give me actual diamond blocks, which is why I'm com more confident in it. But that, yeah, like I said, it's a lot of sky coins away. For now, I think I'm going to harvest every single crop and obtain loads of sky coins from that. Officially past three quarters, less than six hours to go, and I am now starting to feel a bit of tiredness, okay? It is 20 past seven in the morning. Yeah, still got uh, nearly six hours. It's not getting as easy as it was before. Thankfully, I've got the Red Bulls if I need them. It, it was like this last time around this time that I started to struggle a bit, so... This is, this is the kind of time I'm not used to staying up this late at all or anywhere near. I'm really getting sleepy. I think the only way out of this one is to stand up. I was fine before this point. Well, this is why we got the standing desk for just such emergencies. Because I can keep on playing even with a change of position. So I spent time mining and I spent time harvesting crops. And over in one of these chests, I have a cell booster. Right here, for the next 30 minutes, anything I sell, I get 1.5 times the profit. So I'm going to use that. And then go ahead and start selling everything. So that I get a much better profit. As you can see, all the potatoes are ready and waiting. And there's loads of stuff in this chest. And of course, one more that can't be forgotten at the bottom. Actually, nearly full. I forgot that potatoes had gone into it as well. So I've made a decent amount of money from all that. And since the cell booster is operational for the next 30 minutes, I might as well make the most of it. Do a little bit more mining with the super breaker activated. And I'll get rid of every single pumpkin and melon as well. Quite a few diamonds have been gathered here. So I'm going to find myself this make the diamond blocks and this is great this should actually get the value of my island to be above 10,000 yeah which completes another quest so i should definitely claim the reward and if i can reach 25,000 island value i get 10,000 sky coins it, it might be worth it basically halfway there and i could add four more netherite blocks even if that is going to be quite expensive to do and i still have these signs that squid gave me for quests to do and i i'd feel bad if he comes back and sees me and i haven't done a single one so i've opened the shop i've gone to mob drops if we go to the very last page, there's villager spawn eggs. I've never bought one before, so I'm going to buy two. And then I'm grabbing a bunch of different resources, and I'm building these two villagers at home. At least when he comes back then, he'll think, oh, good, SB actually did something. He didn't just, yeah, do nothing. It'll actually be quite interesting to see if the villagers despawn or not as well. I'll get some wooden pillars down. And bear in mind, this is going to be basic, okay? I've, I've been playing Minecraft for too long to 
concentrate on the build now. Then I'll have something like this. There could be a door in the middle. Could they? Can I get some windows in anywhere, do you think? I'm going to be honest, this build is going to end up being more intricate than my own house. Kind of forgotten how to make a half-decent staircase roof, so this, this could be terrible. Or it, it could look good. I don't know. Don't really care at this point, to be honest. Just as long as it's functional. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. Tell you what. It's, it's functional. You know what? It's not bad, that, for a little house. Got to get into it now that I think it looks half decent. We'll make them a nice door. They definitely need a windows. And I'll just buy glass from the shop. I'm not, I'm not doing it any other way. The sand is pretty expensive and, and got more important uses. These can be filled in. The side ones can. And we've got enough for the back. This could be a nice little seating area for them. And two different coloured beds will make a nice contrast right here. I'm really getting into this. I'm even buying bookshelves and I'm, I'm going to buy a candle. Fantastic. Now then, do the village... What happens if you spawn a villager in? Is this it? Do they... Can I just... That's it. You guys get to bed. That's it. Um... <laughs> Uh, that'll do for me. I don't really want you to be able to escape, though. I hope you... Because you might walk in the void or something. I'm going to go above and beyond and fence them in. You can never be too careful in this day and age. I'll tell you what. It doesn't get any better than that, does it, guys? You enjoy your sleep. I don't know how long you're going to be like that, but this is your home. And whilst that time was being used up, we got loads of cactus, which is always handy. So I kind of got paid some nice passive income. And there's now just five hours left. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've perked up a little bit more. I think this cactus farm is doing so well. I'm going to build up even more. The higher it gets, like we said before, the higher it is, the better it is. So it's well worth me buying looting and then getting lots more string. And then with that string, I'm going to build three more layers to extend this upwards. Fantastic. And I tell you what, guys, I'm really getting tired now. It is, it is starting to set in, okay? It is 20 to 9 in the morning and, yeah, I'm getting tired. But I've built a big cactus farm. Maybe that's why I'm feeling tired. Maybe it's boring. I can sell these cactus. And I can technically afford to build it even higher because I have got the, the cash for it, but I don't know if I want to. My villagers are still here. I'm glad they're um, they're doing well. And the crops are ready to be harvested. This is a great way to get loads of sky coins, so I'm going to do it. And my, my deal is, if I can last to just four hours left without having a Red Bull, then I can have one then. That's, that's the limit, okay? I've got to hold on for another 35 minutes, and then I can have a Red Bull. I'm sure I can keep away that long. I've just got to keep farming potatoes. That's all I've got left. Just notice there's a competition that started with the most nether wart farmed in 10 minutes will win. I haven't done any nether wart. Man, I'm running out of time. I need one of these. I need one of these. Please grow. I don't think I can bone mail it, which could be problematic. Oh, it's going to be very sad if I can't. If I can't do. If, if I just um, harvest it like that, does that count? I don't, I don't think so. This could be sad. Time will tell, but I'm not confident that this competition will be successful. Competition ended. Didn't make the top five. Yeah, I, I screwed up there. <laughs> suppose I might as well now set up a proper nether wart farm after that uh, little, little issue. So we'll go and, I don't know, I, should I grow it inside my house? So I've not exactly got anything else there. Let's let's do that. Yeah, Harvest and Everything's got me a good amount of money and a good amount of sky coins. I still need more. I think mining might be the way because it's getting me valuable blocks as well, like diamonds that I can place down in my house. So that's why I kind of like using mining as the best method. And I'm so close to the four hour mark. I'm, I'm going to get the Red Bull. I'm not going to open it, but I'm just going to get it ready on the desk so I know it's there. And it's less than a minute before I can have it, so I'm, I'm opening it up. Hopefully that gets me through and then the next few hours aren't too bad. Um, like I've got my, my super breaker, so I'll, I'll use that on this. The first sip can be had. I can craft more diamond blocks and go hard on the final push. I think my cactus farm is getting me a lot of stuff. I might need to make some modifications to it, actually. I have some hoppers here. I have an auto sell chest, which I think is going to be useful. And then I just want some normal chests as well, which I need wood for. And do I have a tree farm anymore? Apparently not. kind of feel like I haven't got the space for a tree farm. That's maybe why I haven't got one. Not to worry, though, because I'll just plant down one random sapling here and then I can use the bone meal to get more. That's that's not going to be an issue. So we can go ahead, bone meal, grow it, get the wood. And that's probably all the wood I need anyway, which is fantastic. And then I'm jumping down to do a few modifications. First things first, I need to sell these. Then I want to pick up the chests. Okay, I don't want to lose these in the void. And the crop hopper. Now, it can't lose. If I lose this, it's, it's a disaster. So I've got that. I want to place it a little bit higher up. That's the thinking. We're going to have a chest there, a chest next to it, and then somehow without breaking the whole thing, a hopper going into this chest. Can I Can I jump? I don't know how to do this. This could work. I only have a pixel to aim at. Did I get it? I did. I don't know how I did that. But it's collecting them up. They're all going into the chest. And so then I can craft a few more of these. And I actually want the very top chest to be an auto cell one. The reason for that is because then, if all these other chests overflow... 
there'll still be some stuff selling anyway and it won't completely break the whole system but that should work fine and i want it to come all the way down i, I hope i don't i'm gonna lose these chests aren't i oh no wait got it uh, i got them both nice can't say i was expecting that can we do it the same with this hopper we can won't mind just one more chest at the bottom here of course we need more wood for that. I could just steal it from this house. Yeah, you guys have got the last of my wood, Dave and Sue, causing all the trouble. Anyway, it'll be worth it. It's, it's, it's a great system that I've got in place. With the Red Bull by my side, I feel like I'm perking up already, even though I've barely drunk any of it. I'll grow another tree with the bone meal, and that gets me the final two chests that I need. And there's still this mission to plant 100 saplings and break 500 logs. And I have a plan on how I can do it, because if I complete the mission, I'll get 75,000, which is, is a decent amount of money. And I reckon just using bone meal and saplings over and over again, I could get it quite quick. I can get rid of the leaves like this, which keeps it nice and renewable. So before you know it, I'll have grown 100 trees. I have actually got quite a, money, a bit of money available too. So it probably makes sense to get a load more string. And then I can use all the money I've got to add more layers. I mean, I could, in theory, add what? 12 more layers with the, the amount of cash I have? No, it's, it's six more layers. I just can't count, which is a, it's a good amount. So I might just, at the very least, add another five. It just is a lot of string that's required. And rather than waiting ages for these spiders to spawn, I should probably just... Oh, do you mind? Yeah, but I reckon I should just sit here, and then as I'm mining, they can be spawned in. It's just a bit more efficient. Might even allow me to get a few extra diamond blocks in the process. Look at that, 124 spiders spawned whilst I was using that. Got eight more blocks of diamonds. I made that nine because I had a few spares in a chest. Having the spawners by the generator was a stroke of genius. It worked brilliantly. So I'll collect up plenty of string. Do I have enough inventory space for it? I, I think... Possibly or possibly not. I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards possibly not, but I can easily just put it in there. And I might as well take out all of these as well. So now armed with 10 stacks of string and a whole load of cactus, I will expand this farm even more. This, this has to be the best cactus farm I've ever made. It's so fast and it's so efficient due to the crop hopper. And those layers are done. Wow, it's massive. And wow, a lot of cactus is starting to stack up too. Better sell it all. This is the farm that's going to make me one of the richest people. Like, give me a week of playing on here with this farm going all the time and... There's no coming back from it. I'm going to quickly use this just to gather up a few iron blocks. Because I think I'd like to have them going round as an outside border in my base. Looks quite good on that side. I'll just get it along this bit. And I think having the nether wart in the corner is just a cool little touch. Although I can't spend forever mining the cobblestone gen. I have got this tree quest to complete. So that is what I will focus on right now. Kind of curious to see at this point how many trees I've actually done. Because I've, I've been doing it for a little while. Gone to this. I've done 42. 58 to go. That isn't bad at all, really. Although I have used up the last of the bone mill. Thankfully, there's a lot of bones in that chest. So I can continue quite easily. It might even be quicker now not to get rid of the leaves because I have so many saplings. I could just keep going like this and doing it probably much faster. Not mind the leaves has definitely sped things up because I've now only got 19 to go. And that's perfect. That's another quest complete. I can finally stop endlessly growing saplings. It was quite a, quite a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But I'm glad I won't have to worry about how many oak logs I have anytime soon. I'll go and check and see how my cactus farm's getting on because I, I feel like the chest probably fill up quite fast with the size of it now. Yep, I was right. One double chest already filled. And it's 30,000 every time I fill an inventory. So nearly 70,000 just from that. Also at less than three hours to go. And I'll be honest, I feel a bit better now than I did an hour ago. I think the Red Bulls helped a little bit. I know I'm on the home stretch and I think I can do it. The main thing I'm working towards now in this video is can I get this house looking as good as possible? Basically increasing the value, the more the better. Is this ready for harvesting? It is five. Oh, I should I should buy another one. They can plant them on both sides. They're not cheap, but they're well worth a purchase. That can go there. Then that on top. I don't know what I'll do with the rest. I might just put these in a chest. And now that I've got so much wood, crafting chests is, uh, well, it's pretty easy indeed. One there and one there. And I could certainly do with more iron blocks as well as diamonds. So I'll just chill here a bit and see what I can get. I'm going to set more of this iron off smelting and I managed to get quite a few iron blocks from the generator as well that can go around the outside as well as plenty more diamond blocks too. I'm not exactly sure how I'll do it but I'm thinking an iron block roof might work well so maybe there that could connect to the diamond block wall at the back. It's just getting all the iron blocks that's tricky. I'm also going to use the cell wand to, to save some time. I think, yeah, pretty much everything there got sold. And I can get even more money just by using it on that as well. That's it. That's 61 straight away taken out. Plus what's in these hoppers. All the potatoes have grown, so I've, I've got to get busy harvesting. I can feel the post-Red Bull crash coming on now. I'm getting tired all over again. But I'm still going to keep battling on to the bitter end. I'm on the last 2 hour 20. I'm so tired. I'm just trying to get through at this point. 
Still making progress surely but slow, slowly but surely. I can't even speak now. And making progress is a, without a doubt the main thing that I'm bothered about. The black market dealers arrive in the tunnel. There's also a competition starting. This could all be very, very useful for me. Most melons farmed in 10 minutes. Okay, well thankfully that's easy. I've definitely secured that one because I have just farmed some melons. My face cam's also frozen. Not at a good time. I, I, I think it's happened fairly recently. Anyway, I found this guy. See what he's offering. A servant key for two million. Oh, I just can't afford it because I've only got one million and everything else isn't really of interest. Man, I, I wish I had more money. I fixed the camera. I just deactivated and activated it. Oh, that's great. I usually have to reboot my PC to fix that. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to get 25,000 sky coins for winning the competition, which means I then only need to get another 25,000. That's great. Look who's come to see me. He's, he's made his great return. I, I, I'm looking forward to showing him that I, I did do something on one of the signs. I've won the competition. Squid loved what I did down there when I showed him. I think everything's coming together. The roof's doing nicely. And I do still need a few more sky coins to upgrade this generator to get the diamond blocks that I need. So I'll keep mine away. I also have 1.5 million in the bank, which is a great amount. Makes me wonder what I should use the money on. Netherite floor. Finish the diamond wall or build more layers on the cactus farm because I could make it way bigger and it could get me loads of money in the future. It's a, it's a tough one to, to call, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? So here's my plan. First, add a few extra blocks into here. And then if I can get my island to be worth 25,000, then I get 10,000 sky coins. Well worth it. Just got to wait for all the iron to smelt and then I can start placing it. I also want to get as much string as I can because I will probably spend quite a bit of money expanding the cactus farm. There's a decent amount of string here, but it could be way, way bigger thanks to uh, the fact that I've got 1.4 mil, no, 1.5 mil in the bank. Now, I'm curious to see if placing down these iron blocks gets me to the value need to be. No, I'm still over a thousand short. So I think diamond blocks are the main way to go. I can either buy them or mine for them. And the fact there's 18,000 to buy one on principle, I'm, I'm going to mine for them. No point unnecessarily spending that kind of money. Although you know what, on second thoughts, I am eventually going to buy the netherite for it. So we can, we can get one diamond block. But why don't I just buy the netherite blocks now? If I'm going to do it one way or another, then I see no point in waiting. I'll instead splash out the cash. And that should be a quest completed. Yes. At least you think so. It doesn't seem to have registered yet. Shall, shall I just buy more netherite? I, I can afford it. Or eight more. <laughs> it's really breaking the bank. I think, yeah, yeah, I have definitely done it now. It's registered. I can claim the 10,000 extra sky coins, which means there's 15,000 in my island. 220,000 in my balance. So I just have to earn another 15,000 and I'll have all the ones that I need. Didn't actually get that many sky coins from mining polar melons. Maybe about 3,000. All of the potatoes don't look quite ready for harvesting. So I guess the way I'm going to get them is the trusty old mining. And whilst I wait for the coins to come in, I'm, I might as well go and get a sandwich. I'm so, so close to the amount that I need, but I kind of want to just set some stuff smelting. I can make a few more diamond blocks. And with all of this, hopefully a few iron ones as well. At this point, I can't tell what the biggest priority is, the roof or the wall. Once I upgrade the generator, I think both of them will be finished pretty quick anyway. And the iron roof is getting very, very close. The potato does look nearly ready to have, so there's a few that aren't. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to use... I could use those to get the sky coins, or I could use this. And I think I'm going to use this generator to get them. Since there's less than 2,000 needed, it, it's going to take me like a minute. Okay, I was wrong. It took like a minute and 17 seconds. I was, I was a little bit off. I've banked the sky coins. I can do the upgrade. Now, diamond blocks are part of it. Iron blocks are more popular... Uh, well, more common. So it is an even better spawner. I'm going to sell everything in there. 62,000, not bad. I've got my quest pouch here ready to use. Let's see what we get. Come on. Something special, please. 5,000 sky coins. You know what? That's not bad. Completing my daily quest. Got 5,000 sky coins. I'll take it. And in the bottom left, it says 10,000 sky coins. So whatever it means, I'll, I'm, I'm happy with. So to get all the netherite I need, it's going to cost me around 2 million. I could spend all of that, splash out the cash, make this room be fully finished. But I do definitely believe it makes way more sense to invest that money into the cactus farm. Because speaking long term, it will make me so, so much more back than what I would be using up now. And I think I just really like this farm because it is passive income. I love I love the fact that it just runs itself. So if I could have one that almost goes from the bottom of the world to the top, that would be amazing. I mean, this is nowhere near to the top. What are we at? We're at level... Yeah, so this is 60 blocks tall. The world is 256. So it, it's a long way to go to be the world height. But it's still way, way bigger than any cactus farm that I've ever built before. As much of the cactus farm as I'm going to do today is now finished. It's absolutely massive. I can barely see the bottom of it. Very impressive indeed. So I'll get all of this sold. And there's now less than an hour left. And my goodness, this is the hardest 
last hour compared to last time. I am I'm flagging. My eyes are wanting to drip. I could if I went like this, I could fall asleep. And I I am doing everything I can to just not drift off. So <laughs> I'm gonna first go to warp repair, fix the pickaxe, fix the axe, shovel, sword, all that. Then I'm gonna do some mining here. Hopefully get some actual diamond blocks. They would be really nice, which I've just got two of. Fantastic. That's, uh, that's just what the doctor ordered. And I am going to do one last leg stretch, little walk, keep myself awake. Cannot afford to fall asleep now. It would be a disaster. 50 minutes to go. This is the last big push. We're getting a lot more diamonds now, which is... Very good indeed. I'm probably not going to be far off finishing that wall because I can craft a load as well. In fact, it would stand to reason that my house has a crafting table in it somewhere. What, what do you reckon? Right there. But then there needs to be one on that side as well, just for a bit of symmetry. So I'll make one, place it down. I think the more I talk, the more likely I am to stay awake because I'm <laughs> yeah, so, so sleepy from all this. We could go and tower up with netherrack. Fill in more of this. And I need 16 more diamond blocks and 9 iron. Now, I have been able to craft a few of the diamond ones. Won't quite get there. I can sell everything in my inventory except for this raw iron. And I have been smelting loads as well, which is great. Said I needed nine iron blocks. Oh, I've got loads, way more than I need. So I'll continue mining for diamond and then it is completely sorted. Mission accomplished, got everything I need, which makes me very, very glad to have it done. And I also remembered that for the floor, I was going to have iron blocks across here too. Iron blocks that apparently I didn't have enough of. I need three more. Are, are they in the chest? I think they're in one of the chests. There's got to be some iron blocks knocking around. I've just got to avoid those slimes. Yeah, look at that. Exactly what I need in there, actually. So I'll place those down. Like I said, it'll take about 2 million to place all of these netherite blocks. 2 million is not the amount of money I have available at the moment. I'll tell you what, if I sell all of this, it got me over 60k. And then if I head down to the cactus farm, which is... I love how big it is. Then this is just filling up really fast because cactus is, is coming in so much. So that got me an extra 50k. I think I'll mine up a few extra pieces just because I'd want to get to a million. Again, I think it looks cool when you've got a million in the bank. And then I plan to immediately spend it because my island needs to look better. Okay, this cobblestone everywhere. You guys are going to join it and you'll be like, oh, what is this rubbish? I'm leaving. So to start off with, I'd like to improve it with an orange pathway. And as I'm doing this, bear in mind that I'm in a very sleep deprived state. I can't wait to go to bed. So if it looks strange, I mean, it is literally an extension of my beak. But if it looks strange, you're just going to have to bear with me. I've not got a problem with this chest here. It's just in the way. So I've got to, <laughs> I've got to move it. And this one as well, I can't quite have the space to move it. But it, do, it does need moving at some point. So a tree chest, we could have this in, in the house actually, couldn't we? It would make a lot of sense that the storage room is in here. I was going to split the spider, but there's over 100 of them and I feel like I... I can't do that to them. I need to I need to use this opportunity. So I've got rid of every single one. Now I can start placing these. And as you can see, we've got we've got these heads. I think I've got to make use of them. And the way I plan to do that is by first gathering every single one up and then place them all in here as a cool little showcase of all the mob heads I've got. And it looks like spider is way ahead of all the other ones, isn't it? I would say an infinite water source is still needed. Just that placement of it probably isn't the best. Maybe down the side here would be nice. It's easily accessible, but it's also nicely out the way. The orange pathway needs some sort of outline and I'm I'm going to start with a white one to see how that looks. Looks solid. I'm going to try red. Or red, in fact, could be for the rest of the island to replace the cobblestone slabs. There's potential there, isn't it? I'm going to swap this out for black and see how it looks. Yes, that's the one. Even in my sleep-deprived state, I can see that this, this might look good. I'm not, in, I'm not 100% sure, I'll put it that way. All I do know is that I'm confident it'll look better than the cobblestone that I have at the moment. Less than 30 minutes to go. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. It is officially happening. I can actually start to get excited about the challenge ending. I feel like I've got enough of a project to see me through as well. Just decorating the island, trying to make it look half decent. Which is better than aimlessly mining ores or potatoes or something like that. Whilst just mining around, I almost just drifted off there, guys. I was being so passive and just... Yeah, I was, I was going. I've just had a drink of water to try and wake me up. There's 20 minutes to go. I can't. I can't fall asleep now. I have to somehow stay awake. I'm so, so close to finishing the challenge. I think I just need to be careful not to sit in silence for too long. Otherwise, there's probably a decent chance that I will fall asleep. The black market dealer's gone in the tunnels. I gotta go there one more time, haven't I? Isn't it crazy how just adding some concrete completely changes how your island looks, by the way? It looks like a, a, a new place. In fact, before I actually go and see that guy, I'm gonna nip down to this farm and just make sure I'm... Oh, no. Some water must have flown through when I was doing the cobblestone gen and it's broken the farm a little bit. But yeah, I wanted to head down here and grab the cactus and sell it. Then I'll have a bit more money available for black market, man. Now that... How broken is this? Ooh. I don't... I, I hope it's not super serious. I think it's fixable. Just a small hiccup. It's... Yeah, it's, it's absolutely repairable. See, it seems that having the water here is what has caused the problem and a lot of them have... A lot of the string has got affected as well. 
Oh man, this is going to be a big mess if I don't get rid of this water. Basically, it leaked out where it's not supposed to. Right, whilst that's flowing away, let me go and see this guy in the tunnels before he disappears. Because you never know what good stuff this guy might have. Let's see where he's hiding. There he is. A legendary transforming tool. It looks amazing. I can't afford it because it's 2 million and 200,000 sky coins. And everything else is kind of a crop up. Oh, it's 2.5 mil. I don't have enough money for someone like this. I'm going to take these though. Just in case I make a herbalism farm. And then it'll it'll boost that faster. So it, it, it's worth having. But yeah, he always has some cool stuff. It's just a shame that I never really have got to use it. I think I'll replace all this cobble with black concrete. It'll look a bit nicer, won't it? And even though you can't really see what's beneath the water. Because it can't, it's still visible technically. I'm going to go like that. A one wide thing for water is probably best. So that it just, yeah, goes down like that. That's 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 way safer. And this floor needs to be red concrete. I'm going to run out of time here, ladies and gentlemen, aren't I? <laughs> I'm cutting it fine. But at least my island looks like a much more cool place to visit. Filling this in with netherite needs to be done soon. But I, I mean, I can have that done before you guys get to come to my island, I think. Because it, it's just a case of letting the cactus grow. Speaking of the cactus, I need to fix it. And I think the server reboot just happened at the worst time. I've only got five minutes left. What, what's the big idea? It seems like all along here has got broken. I can fix it though like this. And then this little section here needs a quick repair too. And it's fixed. I'll quickly sell all this. And there's only one minute left. Now I feel like I'm in peasant diamond armor still. I've, I've, I think I've got to get some boots or something on. I've, I've got four diamonds here. I'm going to upgrade them to prop four. Then buy four netherite ingots. Can I do it before the time was up? You bet your life I can do it. Full netherite armor. Come on. There we go. There we go. Needed. And that is 24 hours of skyblock. I'm so glad it's over.